Hey guys, welcome to a brand new day. Headed down all by myself to the barn to take care of our babies. Got my coffee, got my coat, got my boots. something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run standing on your knees it's a beautiful world out there holy cow it's like winter out there Freezing, icy, cold, freezing, like wear mitts, freezing. Oh, it's nice to be in the barn though, it's nice and warm. Yeah, you want some breakfast too? Come on. Have a good breakfast. I jumped into bed. I'm so excited to come down because the sun was blaring and yeah, it's so cold. Like winter cold. Let's All right. It is 12 degrees. 12 degrees in here maybe, which is not, doesn't seem that cold, but oh, it's cold out. There's a big wind. Seems like it's a north wind. Oh, it's so cold. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and the moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. It can be a bit frightening, it's something you don't know. If you need a little enlightening, it'll make you grow. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. headed straight out there because they found a way to eat grass yeah even Stella even this no grass eating girl found a way to eat grass Stella you got poop spots everywhere dude she's like leave my poop spots alone it's kind of rude to point out people's flaws huh anyway I just put their uh, hay close to the door they can go in or they can go out but I didn't want it to blow away do you guys think I can handle two horses at the same time to go out to grass Come on, be honest. Tell it like it is, sister. Do you think I can do it? Um, I'm gonna film it, but I'll only be able to film a little tiny bit because I have to set the camera up because obviously I can't do two horses and a camera. So I'm gonna try it, see what happens. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and a moment to spare. cold but I did it I did it some things to work on but I did it girls are happy today on the agenda is working on this little farm I have so, so many things I want to get done um, most of them involve warm weather though come on son warm us up Lola had her fault her foal so that was super exciting we're gonna get to meet it I don't want to tell you what it was what its name is I want you guys to see that over on stride to harmony her video should be up soon but right now, I'm going to do all the mucking while I wait for the girls to wake up. Usually Sam comes down and helps me at this point, but yeah, he's not been a, he's a no-show. Gabby is dying to ride Storm Western, huh? Because Stella has like a withers and then low back, and yeah. Storm has withers and normal back. Yeah. So, plus with the fluffy saddle pads. Yeah, well, we can hurt, try it. So I'm going to ride them right. today. All right, let's try it. Our horses are super crazy today. Like... 
storm was racing around and throwing a fit out in the field when I took him out there this morning. <laughs> Stella. Stella is full of attitude today. She's been like, I, I petted her today and she put her head down and galloped away. Like, she was mad. That did not look that mad, but Storm and her are both out of sorts this morning, and it's probably because of the weather. It's really windy and cold, like I told you. Apparently, there was a tornado three hours away. A tornado touched down in Ontario, in Ottawa, three hours away, and that's why the weather's so bad here today. And as you guys know, weather can make horses spicy. This morning, I read a comment from a girl. It was not a nice comment. It was one of those. You got it wrong, mean Yeah, it was one of those, you got it wrong, mean comments, even though she kind of tried to make it sound like she wasn't being mean, but she was being really forceful, you know, like, he has been, Storm has been showing you how he has ulcers for weeks now, and it's hard for me to handle those comments, because literally, no, Sorry. he doesn't. Our vet doesn't think he has ulcers, our trainer doesn't think he has ulcers. A year ago, People, a couple of people, because of his attitude, people were like, he has ulcers, so I put him on an ulcer guard. I put him on an ulcer, gu ulcer made guard, him made him slow and sluggish. I kept him on it for a year. For a year, because people were like, he looks so grouchy, he's doing this, he has ulcers. And I didn't believe my trainer, I didn't believe my vet. And I listened to a bunch of you guys, and I practically ruined this horse for Gabby by treating him for something he didn't have. And he Which slower. Move on. Yeah, like it caused a lot of problems. Yeah, and the one thing that didn't storm got slower and lower, and then people started commenting on how slow he was. He was half dead. There was something wrong with him because of that. And um, the one thing that didn't change was his attitude. He had the same attitude for his first owner. He had the same attitude for his second owner. He had the same owner for. Ga he has the same attitude for Gabby. You guys. He just has an attitude. Of he does have to do. And because yesterday when he was just instead wait. of going squeezing let go like and then like that, because he doesn't listen to that. Um, I had to squeeze and then I squeezed really hard but held on like with my heels like Which she doesn't that. usually do, so he rebelled. I think he fucked. Yeah, and that's what he does. Like, there was a reason for those things, and none of them had anything to do with ulcers. Just pure also, sass. Yeah. He's, he's like me. Okay? Like he's sassy like me. I totally appreciate all the comments that are thoughtful and helpful and somebody saying oh, maybe Storm has an ulcer because blah blah blah. I totally get that and I totally understand those comments. I like knowing things that I can think about, ask about, ask my vet, ask my farrier about, ask my trainer about. But when you forcefully are like, your horse has been telling you because you don't know from our videos what you don't know their history you don't know every single thing you don't know that gabby was trying uh, she had a really difficult lesson yesterday and she was trying all these things to get a change and he was like no do not do that to me and uh, uh, i don't know i he lets he tells me when it's too much leg even yeah. though he does not move so it's like i have to use more yeah. leg than this and that's, what I've been, like, no. and that's what I've been trying to tell you guys. That's the kind of horse he is. He's a grouchy old man kind of horse. Like Even he's, he's like that with the fee in the field with the other horses. It's just it's who he is. And we are right on any kind of medical issue. So I don't know. I'm torn between like explaining to you guys all the things that have like hit the whole history so you can understand that he doesn't have ulcers or just ignoring it and deleting rude comments like that. I don't know. It's hard for me. To know what to do but it is hurtful when you say oh look I have my hand out like this and Willow's like what what are you shaking your hand around for Wait. <laughs> are you calling me with a treat ah <laughs> uh, no I want to kiss ah uh, yeah but anyways I wasn't trying to be mean it no hate, <laughs> but, no hate. But basically, if you're gonna leave a comment where you really think that there's a problem, then please be kind and suggest and not accuse because it's, it's hard when you do everything that you can to make sure that your horse is well and you have a really good team surrounding you to help you and then people are mean. Anyway, that's it, rant over. I just wanted to put that out there. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down You know there's an ocean between us Don't, don't cry about it Don't, don't cry about it You want me to take you in my trust 
Another thing that I've been dying to do that I said today's the day is pick lilacs. We have so many beautiful lilacs. That's how windy it is out, you guys. You can see the wind blowing the hay. It's a hay field. Look at it. Isn't it all cool? Oh, look at the trees. Like, I love it. Okay, you guys, I know it's cold outside when we all have sweaters on. And Sophie's wearing her new bathrobe. This is comfy. I wear it every single day. I know. I feel like putting my bathrobe on. I'm so cold. I'm sweating. Oh, my guys, we're only cold because we had ice caps. Yeah, we had cold drinks. Basically. Today is Monday, and it is the beginning of show week. Gabby, it's show week. Yesterday. I almost have heart palpitations. Yesterday because, was the beginning of show week. Yeah, for us. We have so many things to do today. So many. This week we have so many things. We have to finish pulling mane. I have to remember how to braid hair. <laughs> we have to figure out our shower, our our how to wash our horses, where we're going to wash them. I'm going to get Sam to set up a wash station today. I don't I'm super need to excited about that. Um, we that. have to pack, do, pack our trunk look and make sure we have everything we need like even though it is the beginning of show week and we have so much to do today we are going to sit down and we are going to learn how to make our scrunchies so i um bought this at a yard sale on the weekend and now it's going to be our little sewing box and it's going to hold all of our sewing stuff the girls are going to learn how to sew scrunchies are you excited yes and i'm going first so I'm doing pink. Plugged in. no can you plug it in for me please right so this is it we tried all different sizes all different patterns this is like the first one we did, and I didn't like how wide it is. This is the one that Gabby bought. Um, this, ours are like tighter elastic. Sophie has a purple one there. Loose. Yeah. So anyway, these are those. Those are the ones we made. Gabby's still working on one over there. Sam is outside setting up her washi wash station. So we're gonna go down there. <laughs> Gabby said today, you clean stalls way better than dad. Yeah, I think that's the truth. But the thing is that I appreciate him cleaning them, so I'm not going to complain. I love it. I love it to death. Welcome to our new almost hitching post. You need help? I have a hitching post, you guys, for bathing. I am so excited. So she puts a loop at the top. I tie it up tight. And then she... And then I tie it loose at the bottom. And I pull to make yeah. it. So Sophie did that yesterday with Finn at the other barn. And he just pulled right out of it. So Storm does that too. Okay. Thank you. So now show Stella. Should do her legs first. Like rub it up and down her legs. I do it. I okay. do her stall and spray her. Okay, well, I'm a gentle mother. I want her to feel... Do you need a sponge with that? Like, what do you need? Mm, I don't know. We're going to see. I don't have any instructions. Let so. me go get a sponge. I'm just taking it away. Wow. Show this to Kaylee. Okay, let me go get a sponge. Literally the cutest little thing I ever saw. The person that sent us this saddle pad, I told Brooklyn yesterday, you have to come to Nana's and ride your horse because somebody sent you this cute little saddle pad. Like, I'm in love with it. Let's see, Finn, you better get out of here or else you're gonna end up getting clean too. Here, spray it on here and let's try. This is a bath in a bottle. Okay, I want to try okay. spot that's like right. Not. There's a big spot right there. Just try that. It's better on brushes. Here, get your brush. It's better on brushes. This is what's super annoying. See if you guys can see it in the camera. See the black bar across his butt? It's not natural, you guys. 
it's how horses dye their hair when they want to be black. <laughs> Just joking. In reality, it's because this is where he rubs himself. <laughs> Did you see him squish his butt? This is where he rubs himself. Get out of that bucket. I'm gonna try and clean him, see what he looks like. I'm excited to use our shampoo. It's actually like when you have horses at home and you're a family with horses. You spend more time walking around, grooming, and just being together in the same place and just hanging out with your horses than you do anything else. So this is it you guys, this is our new wash station. We'll be able to tie two horses up here. It's also our hitching post. 
And it's right in front of the barn, right in front of the horses, in front of the girls' paddock. Unfortunately, when Sam was making it, he didn't doesn't know his own strength and he split this log. So he's going to put another one on here. Underneath these logs is a pole. So this is like hollow on the inside and then it's stuck on a pole. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.